Right now, I know you mentioned, Rob, a little bit earlier, some of that haze still left over from those western wildfires. Are we still seeing that out there? Yeah, you know, if you step outside right now, you kind of get that little hue, that haze, even kind of a bluish look on some of our sky cams, kind of that milky look. But it's not nearly as bad as what we were seeing Thursday, Friday, and even into Saturday and Sunday, but still some notable haze over top of North Alabama. Air quality much improved compared to what we were seeing Friday morning. Uh, just checked with the latest air quality index values. They're actually closer to good. Some spots closer to the moderate range, but we are closer to the unhealthy range on Friday morning. Right now on the way 31 storm tracker early warning radar now we're just a few lingering sprinkles and showers west of I-65 closer to the Cherokee area earlier this morning we saw a batch of heavier rain that has since died down really all that I'm tracking right now in terms of some heavier rain that's closer to the Jackson County line as you head over the state line and you'll notice this little batch of showers this is how quickly they pop up they form really quick they rain down some heavy rainfall and then they rain themselves out so I expect this one to likely die out here in the next 10 to 15 minutes by the this afternoon we make it up to around 90 and then right around 3 4 o'clock as you would expect the best chances for those showers and thunderstorms nothing strong or severe today but it's not going to take much heavy rainfall on top of some saturated conditions to bring some localized flooding issues in north alabama so we're expecting a high of around 90 today with a dew point of 75. It's the way we measure humidity. You combine those two, that gives you a heat index value of 101. That's what it feels like. That's pretty serious, and we could even see a few spots a little bit higher than that. But we're just getting started. Take a look at this. This is the track of those peak feels like temperatures or the heat index through the next five days. Closer to 103 by tomorrow, 106 by Wednesday, 107 for a peak on Thursday, and just a hair lower on Friday. And keep in mind, this is kind of a generalization of North Alabama. Alabama. We may have a few spots by Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday that make a run at 110 for a heat index value. So would not be shocked to start seeing some heat advisories, even some excessive heat warnings issued for parts of North Alabama through the next couple of days. Future radar and satellite 730 here this morning. We're tracking mostly dry conditions and it's actually doing a pretty good job with some of those showers that we're seeing right now just off to the north and northeast. Those kind of slide off to the east and die out and then by lunchtime pop up showers, even some thunderstorms and Still seeing some decent coverage of showers and storms by the late afternoon hours at 4 o'clock today. Nothing strong or severe, but again, some heavy rainers, some dangerous cloud of ground lightning, and then that starts to fall apart once we start to lose the heat of the afternoon all the way through this evening and into the overnight hours. Likely some more fog tomorrow morning for your Tuesday and still expecting the pop-up showers and storms. Some decent coverage with those showers and storms by 2 o'clock, but the big takeaway, watch the coverage of the showers and storms getting nudged to the south and southeast by the late afternoon hours for your Tuesday into your Tuesday evening tracking drier conditions, especially for areas north of the Tennessee River. So some bigger improvements by tomorrow and especially by Wednesday. There's a look at the rainfall forecast. Those brighter blues on the map about a half an inch to an inch of rainfall, about a quarter to a half an inch as you get into the deeper greens on the map and your seven day forecast a 40% chance tomorrow and then staying mostly dry for your Wednesday and Thursday. So trash band is looking OK in terms of the rain and lightning threat by the mid to late parts of this work week but it is going to be hot with that first pitch at 635 each game. I would not be shocked if those heat index values still above 100 in the 6 o'clock hour. All right, we're going to be ready for that.